This is the video for lesson 12 on my website, rounding numbers to the nearest 10. The general idea behind rounding numbers is that we round when we want to be able to estimate an answer. So for example, if we're at the supermarket and an item costs $1.95, we can just think of it as $2 just to help us get an idea of what our total bill will be. We're just rounding, we're estimating. In this lesson, we'll learn specifically how to round numbers to the nearest 10. Now here's how this works. I'm going to write the number 738. And we know from previous lessons that the 8 is in the 1's place, the 3 is in the 10's place, and the 7 is in the 100's place. Now here's how rounding works. Here's the rule that we follow. To round to the nearest 10, if the digit in the 1's place is 5 or higher, you round the tens place up. If it's four or lower, you leave the tens place as is, and the digits in the other places don't matter at all. So let's see how this works. I think it's a good idea to underline the place that you're rounding to, just so that you don't forget. So we're going to round to the tens place, and I'm going to circle the digit in the ones place, just so that we're reminded that that's where we should look. That's the significant digit that we have to look at. Now, the digit in the ones place is 8, which is certainly 5 or higher, so that means we'll be rounding the tens place up. So 738 becomes 740. It's as simple as that. And it becomes an easier number to work with if we're adding or subtracting. It'll help us get a general idea of what our answer will be. Let's take a look at another example. Let's look at the number 293. Now again, according to our rule, the digits in all the other places don't matter. We're going to be rounding to the nearest 10, and we're going to be taking a look at the digit in the ones place. Since, that's, since that digit is 4 or lower, we're just going to leave the tens place as is, and the number becomes 290, rounding to the nearest 10. Let's take a look at another example. Let's take a look at the number 197. Again, the digit in the hundreds place does not matter. Okay, We're going to round to the nearest 10, and we're going to take a look at the digit in the ones place. The digit in the ones place is a 7, which is 5 or higher, so we have to round the tens place up. Now the thing is, since the digit in the tens place is a 9, and we have to round up, we have nowhere to go. So in this case, what we have to do is make the 1 into a 2, and the 9 becomes a 0. Essentially, the 1, 9 here, the 19, became a 20. And 197 rounds up to 200. So make sure you see how that works. Compare that to our first example, where we had an 8 in the 1's place, and the 3 just became a 4. Okay, this is just a very basic introduction to rounding. In later lessons, you'll learn how to round to different place values, such as hundreds or thousands.